Welcome back to Project Hospital. What happened? <laughs> it's moving day. We are actually going upstairs a floor uh, for a couple reasons. The one first reason is that I want to have each floor in the same style as it is down here in the hot bar, mostly just to help me keep in mind what's what down the road. But I, I, I also thought that since I was talking about redesigning the cardio wing a little bit, we'd uh, maybe take a little, you know, kind of move rooms upstairs, uh, move the beds around. That way I can kind of reposition everything with plenty of space. So welcome to the new cardio wing. So we're going to have a bit of a nurse's station right here in the center. Uh, this should take care of hopefully the first couple of bays. By the way, I did make kind of a combo room here. So there's a, uh, uh, they're only six wide, I think. So that's two beds per six width, right? So before each individual HDU room was four wide, but only had one bedroom. So hopefully over time, uh, this will have more beds. We're going to have six, let's see, eight here. Uh, we can go up to 16. So, I mean, we can do another grouping. I think this is like 12 long or something. Yeah, so we can go out to here. And so we can do one more or two more of these, on one more in each side. So two more total, which honestly, I think is going to probably put us over where we need to be with the HDU beds. And then I was thinking about including a nurse's station down here at the end of the hallway and additionally having a bathroom down here and probably some of the over the standard overnight wards. So if we're looking back at the uh, the cardio thing, just these basic regular wards, nothing fancy, just something for people who aren't super, super critical. We don't really have a lot of those, so I figured maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, meanwhile, we do have the idea here of having our diagnostic unit as well as our cardiography unit both next to each other on each side of the hallway like we talked about before. That was pretty good. I also put a little bathroom here on the corner, and the bathroom is in the center of kind of our grouping of rooms here. So the way I counted it out, in theory, the the the, the people in the rooms, the, the patients, should always try to prioritize their bathroom first, and anyone sitting at the nurse's station should prioritize the bathroom that's over here in the corner, although maybe someone over here might find this bathroom uh, more enticing. Honestly, at a certain point, there's only so much you can do before the AI is going to be like, hey, I want to go poop in the bedroom of our patient. So such is life. Uh, meanwhile, I've kind of adjusted the uh, surgical layout a bit because I thought that'd be kind of cool to have a little hallway between the two areas. So our doctors can come in from this side. Our patients can come in from this side along with the nurses for the surgeries. And we've got a little hallway. I, if I had more room, I'd almost make like a little observation theater, but I don't really have too much space. So I thought it'd be kind of cute to have that. Uh, meanwhile, we've got our doctor's offices set up here as well. Um, what else do we really need then? So we've we moved over. I've got the, um, the break room here a little bit bigger than it was before. Obviously, I need to put some of the supporting items in here, like the doctor's uh, waiting room, a couple of the cleaning rooms, things like that. There's the sonography unit, which I haven't really used too much. Uh, let's go back up here. So we could do, we got a little bit of space here. What can we put in here? We could, I guess we could just add another office uh, or maybe have the sonography unit right smack dab next to the um, the corner. Also, I was trying to think about a better way to do reception. We don't, I don't really think we need this much when it comes to reception. Like reception should be super, super small, right? We're not really going to have that many people coming to the office at any given time. So I feel like almost... Um, it could kind of be in the way of the of the hallway. I don't know. That kind of looks a little bit funky. You know what? Hang on. Maybe it wouldn't be all that bad. We could have one desk, and that's it. One information desk, and that takes care of that. That still leaves a really wide hallway for people to walk through, even with stretchers and everything else going on. So uh, we can move another room right up to this gap, like we could do something like uh, so. There we go. And we still have plenty of space to get around our reception desk. So that'll be our little reception area. And uh, we'll even put down something nice and fancy like a, a chair so people can wait if our person happens to step away for a bathroom break or something. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Just a small little reception area again for our cardiology. This will be the new cardiology floor. I will be doing uh, the floors in order of how they are here. So we got ICU first. If I could get down one more notch, ICU. Uh, then we'll do general surgery, internal uh, ortho, which was the old cardio floor, and then we'll get back to cardio and neuro up top. So that is how I'd like to do each floor of the hospital as each specialty department. That way I can kind of mentally keep track of it. Um, only a couple more things I need to change before we do this. And the only, uh, not the only other, but the next thing I'd like to do, as I mentioned last episode, I was talking about possibly redesigning the way this area is, although that's going to be probably require an overnight, like in the middle of the night, I can kind of um, shut down the 24-hour portion of our hospital and rearrange some of the doctor's offices. So maybe to give them uh, a bit more, 
I don't know, I, I guess we don't have to go all the way down to the end of the hallway in order to get to these doctor's offices. We could have it stretched out along the middle area. Uh, we also was, I was talking about possibly redoing our ER. Now, one thought I had about the ER or the trauma center was that some of these rooms, like the, uh, the say for example, the, uh, the x-ray room, it sticks off the hallway, right? So let's say this is kind of how wide or how much this would stick out. Now, previously, with the reason we didn't put these trauma things, I guess, in kind of a, in a more closer, tight spot was because it, I really didn't find a great way to fit the trauma unit or the trauma room along with the nurse's station in a kind of bay while having a hallway to the side. But I thought maybe, what if we don't create a hallway for the rooms off to the side? What if we just leave, say, we put... Um, so we put a break room here, a six by six or six by eight break room in the corner. And then that's just a doorway between some of our trauma, you know, these little trauma bays. So we kind of have the bays almost as their own separate islands um, in the middle of the, the floor. And then we kind of have rooms tucked behind them. So x-ray, we might have a hematology lab if that becomes a thing. We still keep the nurse's station and the, uh, the doctor's station center. And we kind of morph it from trauma center in the front half to observation towards the back. And that's a theory I might work with down the road again. That's going to require more money that I don't quite have right now because I've been spending a little bit on our cardiology move. So no big deal there, but lots of space open. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the big update. So let me go back into cardiology, fix up, clean up the rest of the things, put down some flooring. Uh, the elevator's already connected in. I, I do like the way this looks. I'm pretty happy with it. We'll be able to fit eight nurses here per shift at the center part. And I still want, I do actually want to put down a nursing station on either end because the sheer amount of patients we had at some point in previous points was uh, pretty high. So I want to make sure we've got enough to cover that. The only other thing I was thinking about was, do we want to put down a very small on-call room for the doctors who are handling cardiology? That could be an option too. Now for, uh, for the on-call room, what am I thinking of? It's not, no, okay, here it is, on-call. This has to be what? at least a four by four. So it has to be this big in order to be uh, considered. So really there's no point in not making it a four by six. I might could, one of my favorite phrases, I might could put a smaller doctor's uh, waiting room here and just put a couple of just generic doctors, nothing fancy, just, just some guys who are going to be operating, guys and gals who are gonna be operating the cardio or the diagnostic units. That way they're relatively close Unfortunately, there's no really because we got the surgical unit here. There's no other symmetrically a symmetrical area to put them, but we can have their office here. They're the ones who are going to be running uh, the cardiology. Oh, you know what we could do is swap the diagnostic room with the uh, cardiography unit. Yeah, that way both of these rooms are right next to the rooms that have doctors in them, right? So, if, for example, if we turn the department back on real quick, yes, this is the room. The cardio or the cardiography room is the one that has. The technician so I can move this to the side over here and then move the other diagnostic unit or room right over where that was and that way so that's that's right next to the doctor on call room so hopefully that's going to reduce the time between when doctors are getting called into that room to do examinations these two rooms will be where our technicians are always stationed in order to do uh, what was this one again the cardiography yes yeah, so diagnostic stuff here tended to by doctors which will be in the waiting room here Perfect. I like that idea. So we'll put that there. Um, again, I want to put down probably just while we're on it, let's go ahead and put down another, since I'm kind of going this direction with the hallway, I can, I could just do a copy here like this. I wish I could, can I see the price of it? Can't really. Let's go ahead and save this. We'll call this um, HDU times four is what we'll call it. So HDU times four is, can I see the price of it? Oh, I can't even see the price of it. That's kind of a bummer. Hopefully this doesn't make me broke. Oh, I, I'm a little bit worried. I'll tell you what. Let's do everything else we might need before we put it down. And then we'll get a better feel for uh, if we happen to do the last thing and it uses up all of our money, then so be it. That's not a big deal. I've got the surgical wing in place. I've got, uh, we do need some a regular ward. we got the bathrooms. we got the offices. Everything else is pretty much in place. So we should be able to go back live again as soon as I assign my workers again to their, their offices. So let's go ahead and just finish off this end of the hallway and... Uh, We'll make the cardio uh, wing open again. All right, for the moment, since we're a little bit low on cash, I think I'm going to keep it like this. So I decided to go with some standard wards down here. 
Uh, they are close enough that I think they'll use this restroom as their room whenever they need to. Uh, there's only three overnight wards, so I could add one down the road. I actually could fill this entire section up if we needed to. Or I, I just don't know how many nurses can handle this. So this would be a good test. If we, if we put the nurse's station here in the middle and we fill it up with eight nurses on the day shift, will this be enough for also... Uh, for not only surgery, but also for handling all of the patients on either side. I have extended the base down the base, <laughs> the hospital down a little bit to this corner, and I was thinking about putting the next big HDU ward right here, because that's right next to surgery. And I thought, if we have someone who's critical, that kind of time could be useful, right? So the, the minimal time between moving you out of the room and into your surgical area. So hopefully the people who are farther down the hallway away from surgery are a little bit in less of a dire situation than the folks on this side. Now, this one's relatively close to still. So that's my theory for the moment. We're going to go with um, eight HDU beds. In fact, I almost could drag this one on this side if we wanted to test having two over here. Uh, we could try putting down a regular ward at some point too, but I'll leave it as it is for the moment. Mostly I like that symmetrical layout. Uh, anything else we need to do? I've got my, other than just maybe putting down the standard old cleaning closet, We'll throw one of these down. I really haven't cleaned up a lot of my uh, my rooms and stuff. There's like lots of random tiles here because I've had rooms from point A to point B. Let's throw the sonography unit around a little bit too. I haven't touched that. Oh shoot, is it down? No, it's down here. Okay, I thought it was uh, down by, I meant down by destroyed or sold. Uh, sonography is sitting right here. What do you mean? Why can't I move this? It shouldn't be used right now, is it? Selected area cannot be moved. It... Contains objects in use. Who's working at my, um, who's working here? Oh, go away. You're, you're fired. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think they might actually have to come all the way up to their computer before I'm able to move it. Let's see. Uh, might be better now. Nope, still in use. All right, we'll have to wait for that to get finished up. Otherwise, I'm going to kill every single room on this floor. This is the, again, this is the old cardiology area. So this was my on-call room for nurses. This was my on-call room for doctors. So let's go ahead and copy that and move it up. If ah, uh, Nope, it isn't in use. It's just a weird colored seat. So this will be the on-call room for the doctors. In fact, I will put it right next to the break room so they don't have to flip out about that. And we'll leave about a four-wide gap so we can throw a restroom in here too. Okay, perfect there. Uh, potty right here. And I'll kill that extra door. Right, so surgery, folks. We'll go right into surgery. Uh, the nurses for that surgery will come over here and help out. My two doctors will be in their tiny little room here helping with... Oh, and again, you can't really force certain doctors to do certain things as far as I know, but in theory, hopefully if they're free and they're not doing anything and they're not surgical doctors, they will be doing the cardiology or the diagnostic units here. So other than that, is our department ready to come back online? Let me go ahead and put down... We are in cardio. Let's go ahead and put down the uh, on-call room here designate that. I think we're all good. Other than that sonography unit, I think we're in pretty good shape. What does the uh, the game say? We're, uh, we're pretty much ready by rooms and waiting room. We don't have a waiting room. That needs to go out in front of our doctor's office, and we also will have this little reception area too. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm super excited to do a little bit of moving I had planned to kind of push out one of my other departments, but I figured why not take the time to design a layout that if we like it, we'll take this layout and copy it as we go between different departments. So we'll probably start next with general surgery, which in theory should be about three down right over here. So this will be general surgery. We'll do kind of a similar layout if everything works. Now, down the road, if we decide to add another wing to the entire hospital, and by wing, I just mean another hallway. So kind of come back a notch and then a uh, long hallway, I could always move the break room up a notch and then we'll have a, a cross connector here. So it all depends on how many sends we start getting from the rest of uh, all of our insurance companies. So, all right, uh, back to it. I'll let the game run for a while. Thanks for uh, letting me ramble on about my lovely poor design choices. And I'm going to spruce up the floor. God, maybe I might have enough money for it. Maybe I'll run a couple emergencies to shore up my, uh, my kitty fund. All right, I think we're ready for business. I've got everybody assigned. Sorry, I like whited out the floors because I couldn't get everything all cleaned up. But uh, we'll get everything nice and individually tiled here in a while after we get some more money. But otherwise, the staff has been assigned. I've got two surgeons on staff, two anesthesiologists. I'm oh, sorry, for the day shift. 
and a couple of extra doctors. We've got seven doctors during the day. That's pretty great. Uh, also including those uh, surgeons and anesthesiologists. But hopefully, once cardio gets people back in it again, we should be rocking and rolling. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I forgot to double check to make sure I don't have anyone on the wrong shift like this. I want to make sure that I've got my night owls and the, the day, you know, the night, the day, uh, morning birds or what have you, early risers in the day slot. I think we're going to be okay here. I also kind of fired some folks who were a bit of a grumpy pants and just gave negative stats all over the place. So uh, I took care of that. Everyone should be relatively good to go. Let's take a look one more time. You make people happy. Let's grab you, Paul Jackson. All my nurses slots are filled both day and night. So we'll see if one nurse room or one, uh, what would you call that? The on-call, the nurse's station will handle the entire floor. Sorry about the whiteout on the floor. I will fix that down the road, but we're back in action here. I think I'm going to run a couple of emergencies, try to get some folks back in, and I'll be back once we get a little bit more, excuse me, a little bit more hiccupy, a little bit more. Okay, so it's been a little bit, and I've passed over or passed through a couple of quick snap care objectives here. Oh, wow. We're actually almost at the end of the quick snap care, uh, which means uh, not a lot of bonus money from these events. Well, to be fair, we're getting bonus money from the events themselves. Uh, but not from, we'll be out of our objectives here pretty soon. But it's, it's really not that hard. I've just been spamming the objectives. Every time one finishes, I pretty much put one up. Um, all of our freaking HDU beds are in use right now. That's crazy. So what I'm going to do is once we get a bit more money. Why are you running? Is someone dying? Oh, you're just going to go sprint and get a stretcher. Are you faster in the morning? You work much more efficiently during the day. I wonder if that just means uh, they move a little bit quicker. Oh, wow. We don't really have that many spare stretchers for some reason let me go ahead and do uh why did you grab one from there is it because of where oh okay let's do this instead um maybe there's like a i don't know the calculation for how someone determines when to go pick up a stretcher but let's put a couple down here at the end of the hallway if they're going to be picking them up to go out downstairs to er so uh let us do this we're going to move a couple of our normal hospitalization beds around uh, we can drag them out of the way, and I'm going to put down another HDU unit because we filled up completely right at the end of the night. So it wasn't like we lost any money, but it was uh, it was pretty tight there. So we'll put you there. Now, also, as far as I can tell, I've not had a loss of quality of service or quality of care because of all the beds we have. So it looks like our, our staff of nurses currently can handle whatever we're throwing at them in terms of how many patients we've got. So that is a good sign. Uh, let me go ahead and do my, what do you call that, prefab, HDU times four. That should fit right snugly in here. Awesome. We are all set. So in theory, uh, the only thing that's a little bit funky is I think this patient here is going to use this patient's bathroom. <laughs> but that's life. That's okay. Meanwhile, um, I think we're pretty well set. We've got all these HDU units. I still could put down a nurse's station here just to supplement the quality or the care. I was also thinking about putting in an angio, uh, what is this thing called, the actual full unit name. Let me go back over to radiology. Um, a CAG, coronary angiography. So the, we always do, or not always, but quite often when you're diagnosing a heart patient, you'll see them get sent to the CAG, the, the angiography, to get a test done. So why not put one here, along with our echo that's just downstairs not being used. Is this? Can I move this now? It's been down here for so long, and I don't quite know why we're not able to move it. We weren't able to move it originally because I think someone got fired. You know what? I'm sorry, Angio, or uh, whatever you are. Why can't I kill this? Hang on. There it goes. All right, I don't know. It got a little bit bugged out, so I'll have to build another one of those down the road. But, alas, we are fine. Um, can I also go ahead and destroy these random beds here? Sure, finally. All right. We are... Uh, we're looking super ugly. I think my, my goal for in the next episode is going to be to get some money saved up so I can do a bit of decorating because, you know, it looks pretty rough. Let's be real. Let's take a look at this eyesore right now. It is not, by any means, not a pleasant sight. So I think I'm going to go ahead and spread uh, spread some love around, try to come up with a nice design. I do like the windows here. So hopefully if we copy the same design down, we'll have that same style of windows all the way across uh, the front of the hospital. I also don't really like this entrance all that much. I was trying to think of what else I could do here. I could really even make it wider and kind of change how our reception area looks. Maybe to have more of a true reception area where people go sit down and things like that. Um, 
or just even have like a couple more snack machines or something to break up that weird funky look. So I'll mess around with that next episode too. Um, cure patients. We've got a bunch of people who are just now showing up to, uh, you, you guys are walk-ins, I think you're ambulatory. So you are all from, uh, one of those standard, are you one of our people? You are not. Okay. So I don't care about you too much. Um, can't diagnose a patient. Oh, I don't know. Go over to cardio. I'm sure they'll fix you up better. Uh, yeah. So everyone else that's coming in right now for this emergency should be able to get examined and figured out. I've not had any issues with the automatic um, diagnosis lately. So it seems like they're doing the proper diagnosis. They're waiting to get a 100% or very close to whatever the problem is, and then they diagnose it from there. So I'm pretty happy letting the emergency run on its own. Uh, did you finally get diagnosed? You Not quite, but let's see. You are... What are you queued up for? You're not really queued up for much. Why don't we have... Why aren't we doing anything? You filling with... Filling with free time. In theory, I would think that somebody would come over here and queue up. There it goes. Okay, so they're going to finish off his examinations and probably not know what's going on with him. And then uh, they'll do an... I'm just going to queue up an echo and an EKG so we can figure out what's wrong with his heart. All right. Welcome to the show, Daniel Young, my friend. I hope you don't come here often. I wonder if you rename a character if they come back after a couple weeks. Like just someone who just constantly has heart problems. And is a repeat visitor. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how things are. I love this emergency event system. This finally grinding away, grinding, grinding away and waiting for money to come in. This is, is basically if you keep queuing them up and doing them one after another, you'll keep getting $5,000 on back to back to back emergency. So as long as you don't screw up an emergency, you're going to keep getting more and more money. So I would highly encourage you to chase down that uh, insurance for quick snap care as soon as you can. Because the events, as soon as you unlock the events button, and as soon as you can just basically treat a bunch of flu patients, you're in really good shape. God, we have a really busy emergency room here. Or emergency offices. I guess that's fine. They're all medium to, to high uh, usage. But um, I think this is going to wrap it up for this episode. I think we've gotten uh, quite a bit done. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to do a little bit more. I didn't realize uh, we kind of a little bit under the 30-minute mark, which I normally like to aim for. Um, I'll wait for this emergency to go through. And I might try to talk about, while we're waiting for this to finish, where and how could we do, could we redo this section here? I could, I mean, really, it's always them going somewhere else, right? There we go. There's our event that's successful. Uh, that's two out of three, I think. We still need to do one more natural disaster. So I think I'm going to do that. Uh, we'll just queue it up right about now. Sounds good to me. So... Patients come in, they hit reception, and they get triaged, right? So by and large, unless you're going to your own, you know, a certain department that you already have queued up, you might go to cardiology, or you might get referred to somewhere else, you're going to go see one of our doctors. So having, obviously, the doctors close to the entrance is important, number one. And the other thing, I guess as long as they're close to the elevators, because a lot of our um, analysis, a lot of our labs are all from... Uh, accessed by the elevator. The only other thing we might could do is possibly bring the labs down. I just don't really think we've got the space for it. Look how much space the you know this is this is uh the uh, laboratories alone. The medical laboratories alone are taking up an entire corridor here. So even if we put you know laboratories on one section and the X-rays and all the other radiology stuff on another, I don't think we'd have enough space. So I still think that. Keeping things like radiology and the laboratory up on a different floor is beneficial. It all comes down to, um, you know, what else we want to do with this open space. Now, I, I, I guess if we keep getting more and more people sent to us from these different groups, then we're probably going to want to increase the num number of, uh, of offices. I don't know. What else can we put in this big gap? I could change it so that the offices would be lengthwise, right? So they would kind of stretch across this way, but then we'd have a big open space behind it. So we could put down, uh, man, I'm kind of at a loss. We could put down, we could put down some, maybe some more x-ray stuff or radiology stuff. The labs I just feel are too big. Unless we did some kind of uber lab. <laughs> well, that wouldn't work because if we say we made this entire thing a massive laboratory and we just stacked, you know, desk on desk on desk, they'd always have to walk to the front to get to their patient. They have to physically come chat with their patient at the door, no matter if you have the check-in station or not, because they're taking samples 
and they're doing the analysis for it. So it doesn't seem like a big giant deep lab would be the best idea. More, I mean, I could put more radiology down. The thing is they just queue up. I could, you know what I could do is move radiology as a whole down here. That could be an option. So then we maybe save the space upstairs for more biology in case we, you know, we fill up this section, we have to start making more labs. We could duplicate biology over here, all the labs over here. I think we've got enough space to run quite a few of the scanners in this section, right? Because we've got um, one of each pretty much lengthwise. How long, how much does this take up uh, in terms of space? We've got 20, uh, 32 width for all of my analysis for radiology. So 32 would take us to about right here. So this would be where, where radiology ends. And that's that's plenty of space to even still have a hallway that stretches down into the next wing. So maybe we move radiation, or sorry, radiology down here completely. We duplicate it so that there's a radiology lab on each side. So we have two MRIs, we have two uh, angiographies, things like that. And we make, we could spread it out too. We've got, you know, we got the main stuff here. And then we could also have a duplicate of the, uh, what was I talking about here? X-ray. Like we, we have X-ray here and I think I'm going to keep it here. But we also could do X-ray down there by emergency. We could also put angio up in cardiology. In fact, I can do that right now since we've got a minute of time. Do we even need to bother with my prefab? I think I'd rather just grab a standard old, go to my prefab list, microbiology, uh, oh, sorry, radiology. And we just want to do the angio. Oh, the angio is rather big though. Although I think it can still fit, and we can get the audio, whatever that thing was, in the same spot. Let me take a look. Uh, move this out of the way, and, 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 we go to cardiology, and we're looking for the sonography unit, and stick that right here in this gap. Oh no, there's like a one, uh, there's like a one wall difference. I think I'll survive somehow. So we'll put that in here, and I'll um, probably just remove the wall, and give it a little bit extra room. There we go. So that works out pretty well. That takes up all, or uses, or frees up all the space we were thinking about. I'll fix that up later on down the road. But, yeah, I dig it. We've got our own little uh, angiography here, just kind of tucked up inside of my area. Ooh, you know what? Are you going to be grumpy that you don't have your own bathroom? <laughs> or are you just going to use whatever bathroom's around? I could also do this. I could split. Let's do common room. I've, I've noticed that you can do this with the common rooms. You can split the common rooms up a bit. Hang on, why didn't you do that? Common room. Do I have to kill the room as a whole? Why are you being a butt? Hang on. What's happening here? I should be able to kill this room. Okay, there it goes. So I can put my part of the common room here. And then we go over to cardiology and declare this part of the common room theirs too. They'll all use the whole room. Like everyone uses all of the facilities in the room. It doesn't really matter. So... Everyone should be happy. They'll also use the bathroom right across the hall. That shouldn't matter either. So whoever is in this room, whoever gets hired for my clinic here, uh, for my angio, should be relatively happy. Let's go ahead and give them a random person who's not horrible. Uh, you work hard and you're a germaphobe. That's nah, kind of okay. I'll give you, and for the night shift, we'll give it to... Uh, you're going to give someone an unpleasant. We don't want to do any unpleasant staff. I've been... Hardcore avoiding unpleasant staff. So there we go. We've got our angio staffed. We also need to staff up my missing staff. Why? Oh, I'm in the wrong uh, department. If I could fix the thing. There we go. Get myself a technician here. Random person for the USG. You're mean. You're all depressed. What the hell? What's wrong with you all? Go take a nap or something. All right. And we'll have one during the nighttime too, just in case there's any people who need help. All right. Perfect. We've got a fully stocked and loaded department here. Everything's ready to go. I, I think what I'm going to do is try out having all of our labs downstairs for the for radiology. That might actually make things a little faster for the ER stuff too. Because especially if I'm rocking out with all these emergencies in a row, all these people have to get scanned and uh, x-rayed. So having them have to not wait for the elevator is going to speed things up dramatically. Also, um, no, that's fine. I was going to add a little tiny little restroom here. Like I've got it on the edge of the floor on cardio, but that's that should be fine. So um, beyond that, I think I could redesign some of the offices. I guess I'll just move some stuff around to make offices on either side of the hallway. Or I could even give the doctors a bigger office if they wanted. 
Although I don't think it changes the amount of equipment or what they can do. Like there is a six by something prefab for emergency if we look at it. So we can actually get a bigger doctor's office. It's just that they have uh, their own fancy couch. And you know what? They don't need a damn couch, right? All right. Now I'll go ahead and wrap up the episode. Thanks so much for uh, for uh, humoring me, my friends. I appreciate it. Look forward to the next episode of Project Hospital. I do promise to do a bit of remodeling, make this a little bit cleaner and nicer across the board. And yeah, we're getting there. My, my end goal here is probably within the next couple of episodes to get the rest of the departments up and uh, probably just wrap everything up. I want to see what a nice fully stocked hospital is like with all of the insurance companies unlocked. And I will call that a nice win. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Ben Tobel. You've been great. And I see you. Uh, I will see you next time. Take care.